Today we'll be reviewing part number DL14993. This is the Dutton Lanson freewheeling brake winch. It's going to give us a capacity of 1,200 pounds. A 50 pound minimum load is required for the winch to operate properly. The drum hub is going to give us a diameter of right at two and a half inches. This winch gives us the safety of a brake winch and the convenience of the freewheel option when it's needed. This lever right here is the freewheel lever. When it's engaged, the cable that you would have installed on the spindle can be pulled off manually without engaging the brake. The braking mechanism takes effect to lock the load in place even when the handle is released. So if you have that heavy load on the other end of the cable and you're bringing it in, if you release the lever, that load is going to stop where it is. It's not going to disengage and roll backwards. It's going to stop because this has the built-in brake mechanism. This device has a nice zinc tough plate finish, so it is going to stand up well against rust and corrosion. The handle is included, and from the center of where it mounts to the end of the hand knob is going to measure about 9 and 3 8 7 inch. This is going to give us a 5.4 to 1 gear ratio. So that means for every 5.4 full turns of our handle, our hub is going to rotate one full rotation. The drum hub capacity when using a cable is going to be 7 30 seconds of an inch in thickness up to 69 feet in length. When using a strap, you're going to be able to have 31 feet in length and 2 inches in width. Now I just want to show you real quick how this works. So to engage the freewheel lever, what we need to do is we would need to back this off. So the handle is threaded onto a bolt, so we can just back that off a little bit, let the spring engage it, so that way we can scoot it out as necessary. We'll put that lever on there, and as you can see, with that freewheel lever engaged, we'd be able to pull on our cable, which would rotate our spindle either direction. So that's going to make unwinding the cable a little bit quicker, especially when you need to get to your connection point faster. So if we disengage that lever and then tighten back up our handle, when it starts clicking, we know that it's engaged and it's ready to bring in the load. Now when we let go of that, the brake automatically takes effect and it's going to hold the load in place. And it's a very simple system to operate, so you can tighten and you can also loosen with that handle. We'll go ahead and get that engaged again. There it is. Now, a color, couple other options that I wanted to show you that this winch provides. Up here, I already installed, this is called a cable stop or a cable hold. It's just um, a carriage bolt that goes through the hole. Then you put the hold on there and you secure it with the nut. What that allows you to do is you can actually bring your cable out through one of these holes, feed it through, and then you can wrap it around there and tighten that down to hold your cable securely in place. That way, it's always convenient and easy to access. Here on the underside, we do have some pre-drilled bolt holes for an easy bolt-on installation. Our mounting plate is going to give us a measurement of 5 inches by 4 inches. The elongated hole is going to measure an inch and a half by 3 eighths of an inch. These two holes are identical. They're going to measure 3 eighths of an inch by 7 eighths of an inch. And from the center of one to the center of the other, we have a measurement of 2 and 1 quarter of an inch. That's going to do it for today's review of part number DL14993. This is the Dutton Lanson freewheeling brake winch.